Hey, this is Manny Bricks. We finally, we get to have the Slave One Micro Fighter. And I've been seeing him like customized throughout the years. And here in 2023, while out people ask for it, like we want a Boba Fett Slave One Micro Fighter. And I mean, it's weird that I thought about that. It's like nobody asked for it, but it just came out randomly. So if you're a Boba Fett fan, if you want to pick up the Micro Fighter, this is for you. So the set is 753444. Both fit Slave One. Obviously it's called Starship. We're still gonna call it anyways. I don't wanna get the whole controversy. So it's like Aunt Jemima, you know? Piece of 185 pieces and ages six to plus. So here's the box for a ten dollar box. For for those of you who don't have uh, the bigger size version, this is for you. As a for affordable, so that you could get both fit in your hands. First, here's Boba Fett. Uh, nothing new or anything came from two sets. One, the Jabba's Palace, and the other one, the medium-sized Slave One. Okay. And unfortunately, they don't come with an Nintendo. So, for those of you who have one, you just put it on. You know what to do. And now here's the Slave One. Michael Fighter build. And the way I look at it, it looks, I mean, it looks good, in my opinion. But the wings look so tiny. Like, whoa, it is so small to look at this thing. Comes with the flick missiles. And I'm not going to shoot the whole thing like, shoo. nah, not doing that. And this is the first time that Lego ever made a Michael Fighter set with this with this cockpit. And there you go. The wings is not like like the original slave one that goes turns by itself. But you have to do it for yourself. Which is a little bit disappointing. When I first built it, I'm like, why the slave one uh, wings not moving the wings down? That is so weird. Um, the gun is not turned, so... I'm going to do some little upgrades. This, mm, yeah. Little upgrades. And here's the underneath. And, um, yeah. So, this is a really, really good set for those of you who uh, want a Boba Fett minifigure. And for some of you who can't afford to pick up a Slave 1. So, this is for you. This is just for right now. To save a budget. $10. And this is not a financial advice video. I'm just... Uh, I'm just telling you guys, to be honest. And um, yeah, it looks it looks really cool the way it looks. And you could display it like this if you want, or just land it like this. All right, that, that is it for me. I have nothing to say about this this little guy. Here's some instructions that I forgot. All right, you're done. Here's the advertisement for this year of 2023. I pick up those two, two. Check. This one, um, I mean, looks okay. It's just that I'm not really interested. But it's a good build. I'm not gonna lie. So finally we get to have the TIE Bomber. For a long time. No remakes. Because we got a bunch of X-Wings and TIE Fighters. I can tell you that. And then you get the... Another... Oh my god. Another advertisement from last year, 2022. So, I pick up those two. That's a check. And one of these days, I'll pick up this one. The N1 fighter. It looks, I mean, it looks pretty damn cool. And, um, yep, that's it. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And have a good one.